Early last week, we talked about how Sony basically revealed that the PlayStation 5 Pro was going to be coming out later this year in 2024 and that they were doing so because they wanted to prepare for Grand Theft Auto 6. And Sony wanted the PlayStation 5 Pro to be the premier console to play that game on because they know there is a large market that is going to upgrade to the PlayStation 5 Pro, but also there's a good chunk of the video game market that currently doesn't have a console or not even a current generation console that will choose the best system to play GTA 6 on. Well, we got some more information that really goes to show you Rockstar's probably been preparing for this for a long time as well. This is coming from Rockstar Games insider Tez Funds 2, who said this, Large publishers had the Neo slash PS4 Pro development kit a year and a half before the retail release. Given Rockstar's strong relationship with Sony, they should have received them by the first half of last year or at the end of it, along with first-party studios. More so since, at that point, a Fall 24 release window was initially considered but was certainly to be pushed back. So you would expect Rockstar to request the dev kit by then. So long story short, Rockstar surely has a PlayStation 5 Pro, or at least multiple of them, and I would guarantee you that they are going to be designing Grand Theft Auto 6 to be optimized on the Pro version of the PlayStation 5. Because although Rockstar has only confirmed that it's coming out on PS5 and Xbox Series X and S, we kind of know that by the time GTA 6 gets here, those consoles will be sort of close to the end of their life cycle. And so Rockstar doesn't want to develop for something that's going to be completely obsolete. So knowing them, you would have to say, okay, we're going to focus a lot of our efforts on the PlayStation 5 Pro. And then whatever Microsoft is going to come up with as well, I don't know if it's going to be called the Series S Pro, Series X Pro, whatever it's going to be. But you know for a fact that there's going to be a pro version of that console that's going to allow Rockstar to do some really, really cool things. So this should get you excited that they're developing for those new systems. And speaking of the cool things that Rockstar are going to be able to do that we really haven't seen necessarily or haven't seen as much until maybe Red Dead Redemption 2, these are the things that Rockstar are going to be able to do, just the little things. Tez Funds 2 responded to someone that said, for me, a new open world dynamic, one that evolves with you, around you, and because of you. See my earlier post about destructible environment. Again, if anyone got something better and more logical for Rockstar to justify their claims, please do challenge me and mention it. And he said, the level of destruction that would make sense is blasting off doors and safes. We wouldn't have to find out the safe code or hack a security panel to access a door. We should just be able to blast them off. And those are the kind of options that I really, really like. Being able to choose which way you're going to go about doing it. Sort of a smart and quiet way, like finding out the safe or hacking a code. Or sort of the loud and dumb way, like saying, you know what, screw that. I'm just going to blow the doors off this safe or plant some TNT on it. I like that Rockstar started to do that with Red Dead Redemption 2. I'd certainly like to see them do more of that with Grand Theft Auto 6 in terms of being able to decide, hey, this is how I want to go about either solving this mission or completing this objective. And it'll be interesting if these new consoles allow Rockstar to add some things into the game, like a director mode, since Red Dead Redemption 2 has no director mode. There was a lot of conversation around if there was gonna be a Rockstar editor for Grand Theft Auto 6, and Insider Tez Funds 2 said this, GTA 5's editor was technically a DLC for both PC and consoles. It was gonna be the same for RDR 2, since we saw new references appearing within post-launch updates, but support was dropped before that happened. The difference this time is that obviously GTA 6 won't be dropped and will last as long as Grand Theft Auto 5 or even more. So it's pretty much a guarantee that we will receive the editor, but unlikely at launch, more likely with the PC version or a post-launch update. Basically the same scenario with the editor being technically a DLC. And I know a lot of people really, really like the Rockstar editor and director mode. It's something that I am absolutely terrible with, but the community has been able to create some awesome masterpieces like machinimas and just really, really cool edited videos and pictures. So I do hope Rockstar considers adding that because it does allow the community to just create some really amazing stuff. But let me know what you think in those comments down below. Do you hope Rockstar introduces a Rockstar editor or even like a director mode in Grand Theft Auto 6? Let me know what you're thinking down there. Now, I'm also hoping on these new consoles that gives Rockstar the ability to give us DLC, something we haven't seen since Grand Theft Auto 4 
and Red Dead Redemption. And again, there was more discussion about that as someone said, honestly, I never cared about the GTA 5 single player DLC that people to this day still moan about. I believe once a story is finished, they should let it and the characters be. Too much potential to ruin this character's arc. I'm all for DLCs like episodes from Liberty City, Vice City Stories, or Liberty City Stories, as it gives a new story and a new protagonist. I really hope we'll get that in Grand Theft Auto 6. With TezFunds2 saying, the thing about Grand Theft Auto 5's single player DLC is that it was going to be based on exaggerated scenarios for the episodes. It really wasn't going to continue the storyline with a realistic sequel, except for the relationship pack that would have focused on Franklin and Tanisha. One episode is based on Rockstar's cut agent game, with Trevor working as an agent for IAA, going from being a psychopath to James Bond 007 agent. And the other is based on Red Dead Redemption's Undead Nightmare, where the city experiences a zombie apocalypse and time is slowed down. To lengthen the days, emphasizing the number of days you could survive, making it home to sleep, Aliens was the backup plan for the Zombies episode. Rockstar may, however, take a more serious approach towards episodic content for GTA 6 if they were to plan for some instead of the quote, what if scenarios type of episodic content, but I wouldn't mind having one along with a more serious tone and story focused episode. And honestly, I would just hope for any single player DLC. I don't know how many of you guys have gone back and played Red Dead Redemption's Undead Nightmare, or The Ballad of Gay Tony, or The Lost in the Dam. Those are some of the best expansions of all time. Not just for Grand Theft Auto or Red Dead Redemption, some of the best DLCs ever made. So it would really be a shame if Rockstar did not do that with GTA 6. I understand why it happened with Grand Theft Auto 5 because GTA Online exploded and absolutely took off, but I would really like to see that happen in Grand Theft Auto 6, where essentially the single player in the story mode isn't forgotten. And last but not least, since we're kind of on the subject of things that are going to be in GTA 6, this is what TezFunds2 kind of confirmed is going to be the case as far as ammo and other items. He said the leaked videos already confirmed ammo being tangible and the same as Red Dead Redemption 2. You won't be able to carry 999 ammo just by leveling up a shooting skill. You may either have to carry a duffel bag or rely on your car's trunk for refilling, increasing the importance of having your personal vehicle nearby. One issue, however, is whether you can restock the duffel bag by ordering stuff online, since we would have the modern equivalent of the Wheeler, Ross & Company catalog where you could simply pull up your phone, order some ammo online, and then have them deliver typically to your car trunk. But if that applies to the duffel bag, you can bet every tryhard will be rocking them bags. They already do by exploiting certain clothing glitches in GTA Online. And if your movement speed were to be limited by equipping a duffel bag, you can bet there would be a fast run glitch will be discovered to overcome that. Now, hopefully there's no such thing as those glitches. Rockstar able to iron them out. I know there ultimately will be. And I like the fact that Red Dead Redemption 2 made you make choices. You could only carry a certain amount or you had to keep them on your horse and probably in this case for us on our personal vehicles or in our car's trunk. Something I think would be a nice addition to the game, keeping things realistic without keeping them too realistic. But anyways, I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Let me know what you think about everything we discussed regarding GTA 6 today, whether it be the PlayStation 5 Pro or some of the things that Rockstar looked to be implementing. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go and enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.